I arrived in quite a timid fashion, so I was very self-enclosed, I didn't really talk to people, didn't really engage with people. I was always quite nervous and quite shy of the way around me, but as I've learned to settle and get used to my environment, I've developed again and grown out in confidence. I think no one gets it right on their first time. We all make mistakes, but it's important to learn from those mistakes and grow from those mistakes. You've got to try and break things down into stages and do things in stages once at a time and that helps you to get through difficult times. Why I decided to stay at home, I came from a household where I was quite sheltered as I grew up and um, a lot of things were done for me and I wasn't quite confident at that point to move out into a new environment with new people. So I stayed at home um, partially because it was cheaper, partially because it was easier for me and I had the family support and the familiar environment around me. So I looked at various universities locally and I felt that Warwick was one of the ones that was easily commutable and uh, to me location was important when I chose that option. I think it is absolutely vital that you visit the university before you actually apply to go there. I think that to understand the university you need to be in the university, you need to look at the environment, engage with the environment, assess everything, assess the looks on people's faces, the buildings that you see, the cleanliness, the various facilities, how many facilities. You can't do that through a website, you can't do that through Google Maps, you have to go and actually look at it. It's especially important if you're living off campus um, about the transport links to the university. Warwick has very good bus links to the local uh, communities. I live in Kenilworth, just around the corner, so that's easy, 10 minutes on the bus. Other people live in Leamington, so that's about 20-25 minutes on a bus, and it's got good rail links to the station as well, which is very good. University is a package deal. I think you have to look at every aspect of the campus. You can't just look at the academics. You've got to look at the environment, you've got to look at disability services, you've got to look at all the support services, you've got to look at the catering facilities, you've got to look at the accommodation. And there are plenty of food outlets and shops across campus, regardless if you're in Westwood in the north or Gibbet Hill in the south. There are plenty of options on main campus in the Students' Union and around it. Plenty of outlets. Most of the off-reaches of campus have their own cafes, which is useful if you don't want to commute, particularly uh, between lectures. I think disclosing is not a negative thing at university. It helps bring forward the benefits because the department knows they can make arrangements. Extra time in exams, uh, a provision of a computer, small rooms, rest breaks, all those kind of things you can get, but only if you disclose. So I've disclosed to all my friends and they are all aware, and I think they are very accepting and uh, they try and help me as of when I struggle with things, so I can struggle to articulate things at times, so they can help me to try and um, phrase what I'm asking in a better way or help develop me in what I'm saying. Everyone's very accepting, very welcoming, and very happy that I have disclosed because it then allows them to help me.